Representative Prusak. Colleagues, as Black History Month comes to a close, I invite you to take a moment to reflect upon a reality that I witness often as a healthcare provider. Currently, African American women are three times as likely to die from pregnancy related causes as their white counterparts. Last year, this body passed the Maternal Mortality and Morbidity Review Committee to specifically tackle the work of understanding and tracking these disparities in Oregon. I'm proud to serve in a legislature that has prioritized this important work, but we can and we should do more. Research has demonstrated that clinician bias towards minority patients contributes to the perpetuation of health inequities. A healthcare provider's bias can affect the quality of the provider-patient interaction, and it can be the difference between a deadly or life-saving outcome. Colleagues, I rise today to say that as a provider, the provider community can do more to support equitable outcomes. I received my master's in nursing at Frontier Nursing Service, the birthplace of midwifery. The brave women who founded this school set it up in one of the most rural parts of our country to prove if they could decrease infant mortality and improve maternal health there, they could do it anywhere. They proved it could be done and the lives of rural families improved greatly. It has been nearly a century since the school's founding and I often wonder what those brave women would think if they knew that more American women are dying of pregnancy-related complications than any other developed country. If they knew the U.S. is the only country where maternal mortality has increased as it decreases in all other developed countries. Institutional and structural racism has a substantial bearing on my patients' lives and it's our responsible, excuse me, responsibility to talk about it. As providers, we must be aware of and work to correct our own unintentional biases. We need support in doing so. Boards, associations, and practice groups should support their members in pursuing these resources. Providers must be equipped to provide care in a manner that reflects their patients' personal, social, and cultural experiences. The state must expect that all patients will be treated by licensed health professionals who have this basic core competency. Black History Month is an annual celebration of achievements by African Americans. Let it also serve as a reminder that these accompli excuse me, accomplishments are celebrated even with incredible barriers still in place. We have much more work to do in our quest to support and work towards true equity, especially in healthcare. Thank you.